Smoking Fun with Ed O. Podcast. Hello everyone, it's Podcast Ed O. Back in again with another episode of the podcast. For our 36th episode of our last Q&A for this year. To Jay Hattori. So let's begin the interview. Hello everyone, it's Podcast Edo back at it again with another video of Talking Fun with Edo with our Q&A with Jay Hitori. How's it going today, my yeah, friend? Going? It's going up, good. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for having me. How's it going for y'all? It's going good over here, too. I'm glad you could be here again. So yeah. this, this time around, it's a bit different because this is uh, a Q&A from my subscribers. And we're going to start off with our first question from Blue and Ghana, the mascot. And they have asked, okay. what are some of the biggest challenges you have faced in your journey? And how did you overcome them? A uh, journey to being a streamer or a content creator? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Um, wow. Okay, so my biggest, I think any, any streamer, the biggest issue for me, I think everybody's going through it, is technical difficulties. Just like we um, were kind of doing today. <laughs> yeah, like I, I don't, I don't really think anybody can. You can't avoid them. You know, they're, they're just going to happen. Uh, the best way to um, work through it is just remain calm and, you know, just try to figure it out as it goes by. The, uh, now, if you want to talk about personal issues, um, a personal, Excuse I would say, learning how to not put the cart before the horse, mm. and which means stop trying to rush to get everything done, or stop trying to um, stop trying to put everything in the front. When you can just pace yourself. Yeah. And the way I got through that was, I'm not these people, I'm me. So I have to just be me. Right. And it is a process because sometimes, some, you know, we're humans, we get caught up in the whole, oh man, I, I'm, I want to keep up with these people or keep up with this. Nah, just go by your pace, take your time, and you'll get where you got to go. Yeah. Definitely agree. Our next question comes from the Aang Peng 18 and he has asked okay. us, is there any hobby or interest outside of your work influence uh, of your creativity? Is there any problem outside of it? No, hobbies, hobbies or interests outside oh. of... Uh... <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, heck yeah. Um, well, for those who don't know, I'm a huge, huge basketball guy. Honestly... Had I not received a career-ending injury, or if I had the money, it probably wouldn't have been career-ending. Right. But if, if <laughs> I didn't receive a career-ending injury, I'd still be I'd still be playing ball to this day. I actually I would be overseas mm. playing uh, basketball. I had the opportunity to go pro, but uh, I got hurt, and that was that. Right. <laughs> that right. Right. So, yeah. Um, and I love to to just watch shows with my family. Um, you know, me and my lady, we watch all types of shows from, I don't know, man, it's just all types mm. of shows. <laughs> um, and then my son, I love watching stuff with him mm. um, and, you know, playing with him quite a bit. I, I'm a family dude outside of here, so I'm only just chill with my family. Nice. Uh, so, nice. Yeah. Oh, Splash McQueen Frog has asked if there was only, is there only one person that has impacted your career? Is there only one person? Yeah. No. There, there's about a good 10. Hmm. Um, so I guess this is shout out time. Yeah. Uh, okay. Shout out. Uh, so this would be first and foremost 
God. I, was real, I believe in God. This, right. I don't put my faith onto nobody else. But right, I right, right. God. So the first, first and foremost is God. I was um, And then after that, it's my family. After that, it's I have a big family. This is why I'm not going to just name individual. Right, right, right. That, but, <laughs> but my family, immediate family, like who I live with right now, so them, and then my mentors yeah. who I've learned a lot from, uh, which I can name them individually. Uh, you know, what's good? Shout out to him. Uh, Marlon Webb. <laughs> um Rio, hmm. uh, Mr. Not That Famous, a.k.a. Nico, my my boy uh, Asa Fumas, my boy Asa Six, um, Ray Metal Cooler, um, Takumi Senpai, um, Blue, Blue Senpai, have you, I, I just call him Blue, the Blue Senpai, uh, Colberg, um, and then um, my boy Seti Mac, that's my brother. Listen, yeah. Seti, I don't think he gets enough credit. Him and him and Mister Not That Famous because those two are some of the most genius people I know in this field ever. Mm. Like because Seti, I know there's other people who's done it, and I'm I don't, but I don't know them. Right, right, right. From but from the people that I know on a personal level. Yeah. He's one of the first people that I know who just damn near did a whole I don't mean to use obscenity, so I'm sorry. No, it's, yeah, it's okay. Uh, uh but darn near almost did a whole performance mm. live on stream. He was the first person that I knew mm. or know that, that actually done that. So shout out to him and then Mr. Not That Famous I I don't say this about a lot of people, but I don't believe there's nothing he can't do. Right. He he taught himself animation. Mm. He taught himself how to draw. He taught himself how to edit. He taught himself how to produce and write music. He taught himself how to do photography. He taught himself how to literally be a filmographer. So it's like, I genuinely don't know what he can't do. This dude is a beast. So wow. shout out to him. I mean, he even made his own manga, bro. So stop! Nah, out. no serious. way. This, this dude is that dude is fire. Wow. Uh, to, to continue on my list, uh, I got my bro uh, King Greek. I think he's heavily underrated. Him and I had some issues, but that don't mean nothing. I was right, still, right. I still show love. Like, yeah, he's also somebody I, I still pay attention to. Um, and then you have. Um, man, this next person I'm gonna say is two of them because I kind of look at them kind of together, kind of thing. Yeah. But the next person is my bro Glide Forever, which he's dope. Um, I don't think he gets enough credit. And then you got my boy Black Ninja Bam. Mm. Uh, I really think. He needs to continue creating more manga. Uh -huh. His, uh, I actually have a copy of his manga. Um, if you want, I can. I, I think it's still up for sale. If you want, I can shoot you a link if you want to check him out. But sure, he's, sure, sure. He's he's a writing genius. I, I give him credit for that. Uh -huh. And um, it's man, it's it's when you get into this career. Whoever right. you come in contact with can mentor you in so many different ways. Right. I don't believe in age when it comes to work. Yeah. Like because somebody gonna teach you something. You know. Right. What I mean? So, right. shouts out to them. Yeah. And when I said my family, I'm talking about my wife, my son, daughter, and my brother. Mm. My brothers, I should say. Yeah. So shouts out to shouts out to everybody who. Who I talk to, shout out to all of y'all because, man, and let me not forget, I have three sisters who 
I love to death because a lot of them, they have definitely taught me a lot on how to navigate through the, yeah, through the, through the hidden agendas of people when it comes to, to this. Yeah. And that's uh, Black Harley Quinn. Shout out to her. Mm. Uh, my other sister, Sonny the Light. And um, my other sister, Kelps. She's like a cousin or a sister, but I give her credit yeah. for what she, she is. Right. So, like I said, I have a big family, man. Yeah, you do. <laughs> so that's, that's where my inspiration comes from. That's where I can't just thank one person. Right. It, it's, it's everybody. You know, and yeah, so I, I've yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so our next question came from Splashdown Dolphin, and he has asked us, it's like, what do you believe that can make video games different than everything else in the industry? Individuality. Every game doesn't need to copy, paste, and repeat. Right. Like, even, yeah, I, 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 yeah. even this video I saw, uh, I, it was like he's like a new YouTuber, and it was called Modern Gaming, and it was just like all these things. Just like, yeah, this is why games aren't really fun anymore. Especially, it's like, man, I have to buy everything to, in order to play the game. It's like, can't they just? <laughs> yeah, I just yeah. want to play it. <laughs> it's like everything. Yeah. Nope, you got to buy all this stuff to to continue further in the game. It's like, fam, can't they just play the game? Like I said, I'll share I'm a link to that video, and I'll also share it to you. I think you'll get a really good yeah. laugh at it. <laughs> so, yeah, he, um, yeah, copy this and repeat. It doesn't. Be, I think that people need to stop being afraid to test the waters and try something. Yeah, try different. new stuff, right? Like, this this is no disrespect to the new Naruto game. Oh, okay. But, oh, wow. It looks like a rinse, wash, and repeat with just a couple of changes. Right. And like, all the Naruto games are just that one individual just, one? Just, just this one. Okay. Like, I, and I'm saying this as coming from a person who plays 2K. Right, but, right. But I know the difference between each 2K. Right. I can break them down. Um, yeah, and the storm. It used to be you could tell the difference in certain things, but now it's just like I it mean, all looks waited, the same. Us, yeah, like he made us wait. I don't know how many years, eight years. I, I don't know. He made us wait four, five, six, seven, eight years for the same game. Unlike two K, where you get the same game in different ways every year. Every right. year is going to be a new 2K, but it's going to be something different about it. At least, like, yeah. You can you can expect that. Right. With this is like, bro, y'all made us wait this long for this. Y'all got this. 2K so this can no just, be, them, the, just every day was like, you made us wait for the same game. <laughs> same. Hey, bro. <laughs> uh, so, it's, yeah. So, so next. The difference. <laughs> um, yeah. But I also think that the gaming industry right now is actually in a good space. Okay. Um, because I mean, there's really cool games that are coming out. You know, mm. like I don't know if if anybody has played it, or I don't know if you've played it. Right. I should say, but it's a game called The Finals. Okay. Hey man, I'm addicted. It well, the beta is over now, but I'm addicted. And then there's this other game called The Day Before. Mm. I want that game so badly. Mm. <laughs> Probably after this interview, yeah, they'll probably give you like a free copy or just something. And it's funny because I, there's another cool. cop, uh, uh, question that has something like that. But th like after this interview, they may give you like a free copy or something. Hey man, I'm open to it. <laughs> I'm open to it. I'm sure. I'm sure. So, <laughs> Fritz the Frog asks uh, if you had any pets. Yeah, I do. I have a bearded dragon right here. Hold on. Okay. Can't really see him oh, too let me, much. Let, let, let me turn this this uh this thing on. Hold on. Okay. I show you. I will show you all. There we all go. Right. Let's see. Yeah, he's right there. Oh, a lizard. Okay, nice. Yeah. That's the first time. Like actually on screen. That's the first. Nice. Yeah. 
That's, okay. That's my guy right there. Yay. Speaking of which... He's asleep, though. Yeah, speaking of lizards and stuff, our next question mm -hmm. came from Daisy and T-Rex the Dinosaur, and they have asked, what is your favorite childhood song? Childhood song. I've never been asked that before. Um, my favorite childhood song. What is Do I have to just pick one? Um I I mean they didn't say one. They cuz it's like the song's just like I it's an S in the question so it's like more than one. Oh, okay. Okay. So if you were to give me a limit, what limit would you give? A limit uh Let's see. I guess four. I guess like four, because that's okay. like my I, favorite. I and lucky. Yeah. Four. Okay. I could. I could do four. All right. Uh, this is no order. There's no order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I love the Digimon theme song. I don't care. I love. I it. mean, I liked it too. I said it even in my anime tier list. It's just it was something about it. It just slaps somewhere. It's just like hey, well, no. it beats the Pokemon theme. It's, it's just like yes, yes, it does. Right. I'm so sick of people of not just of, truth. of the English. It's like the Japanese version. It's hard to say, even especially there's more international like ways the song was. But for the English version, for us, it's like it's just something about the Digimon. It just slaps. I don't know what it is. So there's that. Um. Next is. Samurai Shampoo. That's not okay. really childhood, but Samurai Shampoo. I can see that, yeah. And that's that's hey man. I had a poster somewhere, but I think I think that poster got lost at my uh, sister's old house. So mm. I'm gonna get another one though. I'm gonna, get another, I'm gonna frame. Oh, Samurai time. Shampoo, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I love that. I love that song. I, I can just set them up on peak. Like Samurai the theme Shampoo. song or the uh, ending yes. song. Oh, theme song. Okay, They're both. But all of it. Okay. Both. I was. Would you just say the soundtrack in general, though? Yes. Yeah, the, the OSTs. Whole, yes. If somebody sample had an album, I'd buy it today if I had the money. I believe they. Pro I mean, it's funny because like a it's lot not. of anime, they always have like soundtrack. It's usually in Japan, but they they always have soundtrack. But. Probably like this picture or something like that. I'll share if it does or doesn't. But yeah, usually they always have like OST CDs and stuff well, they, for sale. They have, well, I don't know about the CDs, but I know for sure that they have uh, the OSTs. I, yeah. I listen to them all the time on YouTube. Right, um, right. So I said Digimon, Semi Shampoo. We're on number three. Uh, Jackie Chan Adventures theme song. Oh, Jackie Chan. I, I, do, do, do. The, Ah! I, I love that. Um, that makes sense. And uh, last one. Uh, this is kind of... The last was kind of hard. <laughs> the last one's <because> always... <laughs> from childhood. <laughs> Can't you wrath of heaven... The Tenchu, intro. Tenchu Wrath of Heaven. Wait, from from Genesis? No. Tenchu oh. Wrath of Heaven is on PlayStation 2. Okay, okay. I got you. Oh, man. I can give you five now that I think about it. We're all in limit. Seven Golden Eye Paws thing. Okay, yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just... <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I, I actually remember yeah, seeing a video yeah. of like the guy that does. It's on IG Instagram, where yeah. it's like it's a producer that's like checks in the room, and it's like the person's making music. I'm gonna remember to find that person and like share. And it's like it's always something like like um something like the Sonic theme or like other stuff. And it's just like you often think of like. Yo, they had they didn't have to make it this hard. Like hard as in like good. It's that, like man. they slapped it so I'm like, y'all didn't have to do it yeah. that good. 
Especially the Sonic it. one. It was like the Sonic ending ring. I'm like, oh my god, I lost, but I feel good about it. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> I feel yeah. good of losing. <laughs> Classic. Yeah. So, next question is from Lena yes, Chen. Sir. Oh, huh? Oh. No, I was saying, yes, sir. I was, yeah, yeah. yeah you good. So, next question is from Lena Chen. And she has asked if you had a hand in testing features and mechanics for upcoming games that are coming right now or testing in the process. Like, if you ever had, like, uh, ever tested out features and mechanics for games before? I have once. Hmm. Only, only, only once. Um, I was a beta tester for okay so i cannot go into details mm. is the but, game not released yet no okay um but th but this this was like at least three years ago mm. but a friend of mine um who i haven't spoke to her and i gotta tell her because she was the one who opened the door of opportunity for me not not you know it was it was done through her right right um but she lives in canada and uh her husband uh knew he had a friend that worked at ubisoft right and that's how i became a ubisoft bed tester mm. so i got i signed you know my nda and things like that but i'm not a ubisoft partner like i want to be right one day one day but I mean, after this, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, blow up. <laughs> right? Um, but, yeah, so I have once. And um, I actually had to turn down a game mm. from them. Mm. I can't speak about it, but right, right. Uh, I had to turn that game down because my computer couldn't run it. Right, So that's right. why I wasn't able to do it. And they also wanted me to be, like, there for, like, uh, 15 hours and mm. I also have a, a, a job as well so right like, right it, it, it was it was kind of impossible it was pretty much impossible yeah yeah all right well our next question is from Casey Bushmeyer and she has asked if you have seen any of these new animation movies that came out such as the Super Mario Bros Elemental yeah. Chicken Run, The Dawn of the Nugget, which that one's coming soon. Uh, Rock Dog 3, and Teenage Kraken. And if you've seen all of these, or most of these, what have you thought about them? Um, I've seen, uh, what was the first one you said? Uh, the Super Mario Bros. Like, the, the new yes. one that came uh, out this year. I, I loved it. I loved it. Hmm. Great movie. Uh... Excuse me, so sorry. Um, it's okay. <laughs> and then the second one was Elemental, right? Yeah. That's where like all the elements are like, living together. I believe yeah, so. I yeah. Yeah. I, I think the 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 fire girl. Yeah. The guy with the water dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've seen that one. I actually, funny enough, I've seen that one at my brother's uh, barber shop. Hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I was just I was watching it with my son because my son was getting his hair cut. And okay. Then I was just there, and it was on, and I was watching. It was a really interesting movie. So I I, I like that movie too. Right. Right. Um, I didn't even know they were making a new Chicken Run movie. I know me. It's it's so, coming out in December on on Netflix. It's on that. It'll be on Netflix. Oh, okay. I'm definitely gonna check it out because you know. You seen the? I've seen the original one too. Yeah. Yeah. It was um, it was really good. Was, what it was, was the pretty, other one? Uh, the other ones was uh. Rock Dog 3 and Teenage Kraken. I've never heard of the other two. The okay. Two. Gotcha. But that's okay. But um, now we're moving on to the next one. Uh, Richard from okay. Jeopardy has asked, has there been any books that inspired your work to do what you do today too? Books? Yeah. Uh, books can be not just books. It can be also like mangas and comics. That that counts too. Uh, I 
Um, if I can remember the name, because there was a book that I was reading, and it was it was basically about strategy, strategies, mm. and uh, communication. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Next okay. time. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Oh, you're good. Um, okay. I, I was just going to say that that book was. I really wish I could remember the name because I. It was super just, inspiring. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, because my issue with life. Yeah. Is I'm not a super anal person about time. Right. Like I'm the type of person that I'll get there when I get there. Right. Right. But, yeah. When I read this book, and then I've had conversations with my wife, I had conversations with um, my brother. Yeah. Being on time and communication is extremely right. important, especially for us. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that, that was, that was, you know. I can feel that. Shout out to her. Yeah. Um, next, Tyler Chuganair has asked if you've been into, uh, if you've been into the Disney theme parks, if you, if you ever have No. Been. Wait, wait, okay, 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 I'm super excited about this. Okay, mm. so, I didn't go to the Disney theme park, but I've been to Disney Springs. Yeah. Uh, shout out to my boy, uh, Blue the Robot. Okay. By the way, you would, you would. You definitely got to do an interview with him. Mm. He's dope. Blue the robot. Okay, uh, I'll remember that. Blue the robot. All right. Yeah, he went to full sale with us. Okay, okay. Um, but he took me to play the VR. I'm so sad it's not here anymore because my wife is a huge Star Wars fan. And mm. She would have loved to play the VR Star Wars game. Ooh. Dude, it was so sick. They have a VR Star Wars. Wow, yeah, bro, it was so freaking cool. Wow, uh, bro, like, and the crazy thing is, it's like, I, okay, I, I need them to bring it back because I, I got to experience it again. It's funny because it's like it's Star Wars. Like, I can't even see like how something like that's like one of their biggest things. Uh, not the only biggest know. things, but you know. Yeah, man, bro, I, I really don't know. I, I know this much. Yeah. And you when you put that gear on and, and you're a rebel. <laughs> you feel like you're in the game, is it or just in the yeah, the um, thing. No, like there's an actual like whole path and everything that you have to follow. Oh you get wow. On a, like, <laughs> you get on like a um you, you walk in on mm. a sexual virtual spaceship. Like you get on it. And then you feel it take off, and oh my god, bro, it was sick. Yo, that I, does sound. That's that is awesome. That sounds awesome. It's weird yeah, that yeah. I haven't like because I remember being there. I was like, dang, I didn't remember seeing that at all. <laughs> but I've been bro. to Disney Spring before. But even though at the time it was like a while, like that was a while back. But I was right. like, wow, yeah. that. Was, I mean, honestly, that honestly sounds cool. I'm surprised I didn't see it myself. Then again, it all depends, like, when they took it away and stuff like that, you know? Man, I don't, I don't even know when. I, I just know that, like... It was there, yeah. Yeah, yeah bro. I, oh, man, that was one of the most cool things. And I would just... I, I gotta take her to, to go do one of those things, because she, <laughs> she was just... She was crazy for it, so... Yeah, yeah. Our next question is from Kids to Production, and they have asked, uh, what is your favorite color? Purple and green and red and black. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's like I'm almost wearing all the colors today. Yeah. Almost, yeah. 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 Uh, James Gilbert asks, uh, if you live stream on YouTube, and if you don't, like, if there are any other live stream platforms that and anybody else can find you on? Yes. Uh, I stream on Kick. Mm. Uh, Kick streaming. Okay. Um, you can just find me at Jay Hattori. I can, I'll can. i send you the link. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Um, and then I also stream on Twitch. And I'm on YouTube. Um, I'm no longer named 
Jada Tory on YouTube. I'm I just want to put my name back because people can't find me. Okay. But on YouTube, I was my name is Jay. But right, right. Like I said, there's I so many Jays. Even that. like uh, so in the other thing. So we'll probably get to it like for the other thing. But it's like there's just so many Jays. We'll get to it. I promise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, it was too many. Yeah. So. <laughs> Next question is actually from a family member of mine, and her name is uh, okay. Jessica. This is, I was kind of saving this for the last, but I think it's like we got two more before we like kind of end it. So it's like, okay. she has asked, what, what is, what is the thing that keeps you humble? Just anything. Being broke? Yeah. I mean, so here's the thing. Right. And I don't say that to be cocky or anything. I, right, I right, 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 right. One, one, uh, I'm a very blunt, open, honest person. Yeah. I'm making some money from streaming. I'm making some money from this, but it's not lucrative. Right. And honestly, um, one day I know it will be. At the same time, I used to be homeless. Like, genuinely. I. Mm -hmm. Was sleeping at full cell. I was sleeping at different friends' houses. I, mm. you know, I, I didn't even get to finish school because mm. um, I was legitimately focused on just surviving at that point. Right. And at the same time, uh, because of that, I was uh, I lost uh, parental rights for my daughter. Mm. So there's a lot of things that keeps me in a narrow straight path um at the same time i'm not super humble either though right because like i am somewhat not a lot <laughs> i am somewhat of a private person because my dad always says this to me you know he said uh i've been through i've been through as much as a four-year-old man that's what my dad always said to me right and um when i think about it it's like I'm still here. Yeah. But the grace of but the grace and mercy and love for God, I'm still here. Yeah. So I'm not gonna be humble about that. Because I believe that I am and everyone around me is highly due to everything that we've come through, came from and everything that we've it's like walking on nothing but spikes. Yeah. And you're not bleeding. It hurts, but you're not bleeding. Right. You're still, yeah, you're still. So I, 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 yeah. I thank God for that. I, I, yeah. I thank God for that. So, but when it comes to being like humble about certain things, I'm very humble. Anytime yeah. I get money now, like wherever it comes from, I'm humble about it. I, I understand more of money management. I had to go, had to understand. And finally, what I'm not humble about is. The entertaining aspect of it. Yeah. I believe that I am super entertaining. Right. I'm not going to be humble about that because that's the whole point. Like, I want you to come to me and relax and have a good time. Yeah. At the same time, I put in a lot of work for this. It's right. So, it's like, you know, right. It's, 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 it's just like, it's just like you as an interviewer and, and your, your podcast. Yeah. You put in so much work into it. It's like, you darn right. I'm like, I went through these steps to get here. Mm. So yeah, no, nah, I'm not, no, nah, I'm not humble about that. Right. But I'm very humble when it comes to finances. I'm very humble when it comes to family. I'm very humble when it comes to my spirituality. I'm very humble when it comes to understanding what it means to have peace of mind. And I I'm never going to take any of those things for granted. Right. Because I love being a family man. I love being important to my family and, that is what matters to me. Yeah. So I hope I answered the question. I mean, you surely did. And we got like two more left. So our second okay. to last one comes from Robert Burns. And he has asked if there was any new games or other activities that are coming out soon for just anything that you do, like for socials and stuff like that, like any new stuff coming around. And that's usually the thing I would ask, but it's like Robert really got it right here. Yes. Okay. So, um, the game 
the finals, as I was just saying. Right. Uh, listen, it's fun. I I, I streamed it. Mm. I was able to post uh, TikTok videos and all that. It's fun. Like, I, I genuinely just... Um, and then activities. Yes, actually. Um, my lady doesn't know this, but okay. this is a big surprise. Okay. I plan on buying tickets so we can all go to the movies and watch the new Marvel movie. Ooh. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to come... I'm just going like, hey, babe, let's go to the movies. Let's right. When are you guys seeing it, yeah. by the way? Well, my goal is next week. Kind of after or before excuse me, uh, Thanksgiving. Yeah, I can see that. All right. And... One of our last questions before we end things is, um, this one is actually from me. And this okay. year, it marks our first anniversary when we first interview each other. Well, I've interviewed yeah. you. And I was wondering, yeah. like, what was your favorite part of the video that we did together? Like, what do you have, like, a favorite moment from the video when we interviewed and stuff like that? I actually, uh, I do, um... Just talking to you in general, because mm. we haven't spoke. Like, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'm big on reconnecting right. with people that I respect. Yeah, and you're one of the people that I respect, and I've been paying. I pay attention, so I watch your YouTube. I, I watch your YouTube channel, and I'll go and watch right. all the interviews that you're doing. Right, I was like, man, hey, one, hey, he's going. So any time where we just talk and it's just natural. Yeah. Like, it doesn't feel forced. Yeah, of hey, course. Hey, man, it's a good yeah. time for me, man. Right. Like, so like just like this. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's dope to me. I definitely would say sure. one of my other favorite parts, and I remember I added this for my reflection uh, that I usually do, and it's, you know, another one's going to come up for this channel as well. It's, uh, I There was a quote that you had, and you said, like, don't sell yourself short, and I was like, I remember that hit me so much when I was editing it, and I was like, I got to put that in, in this montage of the reflection. I had to put that there. And also, so the other thing we were coming back to of saying there was a lot of J's. So the person that we were trying to remember last time, his name was Jay Park. And that was uh, the person you were... Yeah, the, the, the Korean the, the Korean, Korean rapper, the, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that was the guy, yep. Yeah. And um, yeah. uh, the things that's been going on with him now, like he's still around and also, you know, like... I'm not sure if you do or don't notice. Like, he actually, like, for a while, even from that point, he has his, like, own record label, too. So, it's, like, there's just that. Okay. And it's just, like, it's interesting of, like, his growth. Because, like, that was the thing I didn't really know was, like, he was in a group. And then he was just, like, I'm going to do all of this solo. Almost a little bit of the right. last guy I was talking to from Giant, uh, Howard. He was, like, on that same path, too. And... The thing was, I'm going to also give a shout out to this uh, creator because there was a movie that he was in, but literally he's like, please don't watch it. And it was, it was like one of like the, it was like supposed to be like, um, you got served that, but it was like, let's like, like I said, it's, it's, it's bad. But in a thankful note, I'm not going to share the movie, but I'm going to share the people that, in, that did the review for the movie because they really... They really did a good job of interview of even of explaining it was like why it was the worst right. and the weirdest part about the movie is that it feels too real like it feels like is this what happened behind the scenes of this movie <laughs> like it was a movie behind the scenes I was like you can't really tell what's going on but like I said um when editing yeah. this I'm gonna share the movie and that itself so that so so okay. Jake Park everybody but yeah All right. so. With that, we have to say our farewells now, man. I'm going to see you later. Goodbye. Take care, y'all. Thank you again, Ed. Thank you all for watching this last Q&A of this year. And also want to know, thank you all for your questions that you have sent for Jay Hattori. And with that, the shout-outs, it goes to Misfit Bear, Life Story, Phantom Nerd, Noble T ASMR, Blurt City Nerd, Wave Troll, J Madness, 
and the WBM podcast. Also, thanks for Fusion Ha for inviting me to their podcast as well as interviewing them. And as you can see, there is or isn't a link. But once it comes, please be on the lookout and I will be on the lookout too. So back to the program. Now, as usual, another podcast episode is coming whenever it can. And as far as my main channel, like from my last video, Edo4 was saying to help me to get to 200 subscribers. And I also want to send a message to him to also try to get to his channel for his fifth year to 500 subscribers if he can. And with that note, I'll see you all around and see you all next time. Talking from with Edo.